Hello everyone. In this chapter we'll be discussing environmental geology and earth resources. I feel this is a really good chapter and I think you'll be interested in reading the information that is within. Please remember to um, confine your study areas on the sections that I have that I have um, placed in my outline. Those are the areas I want you to really concentrate. I encourage you to read the whole chapter but concentrate on the uh, areas I have highlighted in the outline for your study habits, for your exam. When we heal the earth, we heal ourselves. Our earth is a wonderful planet, as we all know, but it is filled with minerals that certain companies want to dig out and exploit and, and just leave the land barren. And some of these minerals are very precious and they can only be found in areas that are um, environmentally sensitive. So we all have to be aware of what certain uh, mining procedures do to our planet. <clears throat> so here's just a basic overview of the planet, the inner core. We have a solid iron inner, inner core and as you move outward we have our crust and then we have the ocean and the continents. These are some of the um, elements most common found within the Earth's crust. <clears throat> and way back when in early, Earth's early history we have um, movement of these big huge continents and uh, the movement of these continents is because these uh, continents were divided by um, these ridges and they were formed with these tectonic plates. It's really a cool, earth science is really a good class. If you want to find out more about the earth and weather systems and uh, Earth's minerals and rock formation. Earth science is the, is the science to take. It's very interesting. We're just going to get a brief overview of uh, the Earth in this chapter. <clears throat> Here are these plates um, and you can see that originally <clears throat> um, this area here, North America and South America, were joined with Africa and Eurasia. This was not here. And these, all these were joined. This kind of, you can see it kind of fits right in there. It's like a puzzle. Well, when all of these, when the Earth started um, releasing its its heat from, from its mantle, <clears throat> all of these ridges were developed and started to separate these different these different tectonic plates until what we have today. The, the earth is constantly moving. We have um, um, seafloor spreading from the, the Atlantic Ridge here and we do have subduction zones where the earth is going into um, into the mantle. This is another, these are subduction zones where we're, we're losing earth, you might say, we're losing the we're losing land but here we're gaining land and when um, we have volcanoes 
and the, the magma spews out. That forms land. It's very new land, but it's land nonetheless. So earth science is a great class to take if you want to learn more about all of this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Here's the Pangaea that I was talking about and how South America and North America kind of fit in with Africa and Eurasia. <clears throat> difference between minerals and rocks. Different types of rocks. The rock cycle. And how rocks are formed. Pretty interesting. You go out to um, the Grand Canyon and you can see the sedimentary rock between there. Really a cool place to visit in the Painted Desert. They're really cool if you've ever get a chance to go out west. Notice how um, the heat and the cold and the, and the water gets in there and it freezes and it cracks and it causes uh, erosion and cracking and pretty cool. Minerals, a lot of minerals are processed and mined from our earth, and they are a big, big economy. Big, big, big. We see that American, you know, North America here and over here in Asia here, <clears throat> Australia. All of these countries, five or more crucial metals are uh, essential to the the industry of these these countries because of the what these countries produce here are some of the uses of metals here are some non-metal resources and <clears throat> what they're used silica uh, sand is our source of glass. Very interesting to some of you. Limestone. Limestone is mined here in uh, Florida because we basically have a lot of that from the ancient times when the sea creatures and their calcium shells were deposited on the floor of the earth and then <clears throat> through years and years and years Florida was essentially built and then now the companies mine the limestone which is like I said it's the the shale and the shells and the all that calcium deposits well we've already discussed this in previous in the previous uh, chapters that uh, Petroleum is comes out of the earth, and it is not um, one of our renewable resources. But we're trying to find it any way we can. Most of the time, um, resources are. <coughs> drilled or they are mined and there are processes that <clears throat> contaminate the environment when these things are being done. Um, many of these mines release hazardous chemicals into our water systems and and, and right onto the ground where the if it rains then they're just washed into our rivers and streams and this will cause problems in our uh, initial rivers and streams but they are constantly carried down and eventually they end up in the ocean so it's just we're poisoning our water supply and here's this um, frac fracking that uh, I was talking about in a previous chapter where they're trying to um, <clears throat> extract petroleum products using water
methane extraction and it's not just building this little this little um, well this is a an entire process where they have to come in rip everything out of the environment and get roads to these places and back and forth with their um, petroleum trucks and it's just it's not just one little well it's the whole process open pit mining is horrific it's done in Florida it's done in other countries um, we have the phosphate mines up near uh, I believe they're in the center of the state and if you if you do a Google search and you go you do you go around Florida and you'll see these big huge white areas with nothing but phosphate mines for miles hundreds of miles it's it's horrible what they've done to the environment strip mining is is a another terrible thing that's done that was done up in uh Tennessee Copper Hill Tennessee where they went in they just stripped the sides of the mountains out hunting for copper and it's just horrible here's uh Here's the Appalachian Mountains that were strip mined. Everything is gone. No more. These were the Blue Ridge Mountains. These were no more trees, no more animals, nothing. Just barren wasteland. Coal mining does this. Um, gravel mining does this. I, I have a cabin in North Carolina. And the mountain right, right next to our mountain um, a, a mining company, a, a gravel mining, they basically blow out parts of the mountain and then they mine all the gra the granite. They turn it into gravel. And then literally the mountain is disappearing. It is totally, the top is totally gone. So it's it's starting to look like this. So it's horrible. It's horrible. Mining is horrible. <clears throat> All these things that um, try to extract these um, minerals from the earth, they do so with a cost. There is pollution. We need to conserve this, these minerals. These are, these are there, and they, if they're mined out, they'll be gone. So we need to uh, limit our mining and perhaps mine safely, mine safer. We need to get together and figure out the ways we can improve our mining strategies. If we recycle, we can s slow down the mining and the need for these um, resources that are being depleted. There's a way to re recycle your old car. New materials can replace mined resources. Yes. Uh, some of these, um, <clears throat> some of these um, ideas are good, but some of these things we need to think about. Um, you're just plastic is a petroleum product so we're replacing copper with plastic well we have to think about this you know is it gonna hold up I don't know does plastic leach chemicals into our water I don't know we have to I think with I think there's more study that needs to be done but I do believe that we can we can um, recycle more than we do. Not only are we causing problems with our uh, geology, but we do have natural hazards.